Happy Tuesday, friends. Well, friends, today is Tuesday. And as always, I get to remind you that you can choose not just today on a Tuesday, but each and every single day of the week. Well, friends, studies have shown that the number one reason why people get out of the will of God for their lives and why so many people are living well below their kingdom potential is simply because of this one thing, offense. Specifically, they've become offended. Yet the Bible says, in fact, Jesus tells us in Luke 17 verse 1, he says, it's impossible, but that offenses will come. Friends, it's impossible to live in this world and not have offenses come. They're coming and they come to each and every single one of us. But here's the thing we need to know about offenses. Being offended, becoming offended is a choice. And so when an offense comes, we can make a choice. We can choose to be offended, to become offended. And the result of becoming offended is that we become bitter. We become bitter people. We become bitter at life. We may even become bitter at God. Or when offenses come, we can make a different choice. We can choose to let it go. We can choose to give the offense to God. And the result is we become better. We become better people, better leaders, better at life. Friends, the choice is ours. And so the question you're probably asking is how do I choose to not become offended? How do I choose to not take an offense? Well, Jesus gives us an answer. In fact, he gives us this answer in Luke 17 verses 3 to 4. And really, I'm just going to paraphrase what he says. But he says, if someone crosses a line in a way that hurts you, in a way that truly does offend you, he tells us this one truth. He says, forgive. One thing I've learned is when Jesus issues a grace instruction, when Jesus tells us to forgive, embedded in that grace instruction, embedded in that word forgive, is all the ability, is all the faith that we need to forgive. Friends, you can forgive. You can let it go. Now, here's where so many people get so tripped up when it comes to forgiveness. And I say this with love because I used to get so tripped up when it, come, when it came to forgiveness forgiveness. I used to struggle to forgive people. Man, we've had people hurt us. We've had people do the most awful things to us. And so I really struggled to just let it go. In fact, you know, this reminds me, there was a point in time where someone was talking about me behind my back and lying about me in the same email. <laughs> and for good measure, they were talking about me behind my back, lying about me behind my back, and they forgot to remove me from their email trail. So I saw every single thing they said about me. Man, it hurt. It really, really hurt. And truth be told, I, I, I struggled to just let it go until I realized four things about forgiveness that I'm going to be sharing with you. These four things really set me free and really helped me to just let it go. The first thing I found out about forgiveness is that forgiveness, forgiveness is not a feeling. Forgiveness is a choice. And if we're going to wait until we feel like forgiving someone, then we're, we're not going to forgive, friends. You see, friends, we choose to forgive by faith the people who've hurt us, the people who've caused us harm. We choose to release and extend forgiveness towards them because really forgiveness isn't for them. You know, forgiveness, forgiveness is for us. And so the second thing I learned about forgiveness is that forgiveness is not waiting for an apology. In fact, forgiveness is accepting the apology that we may never receive. Friends, we need to forgive people, even if they never come back and apologize, even if they never come back and say that they're sorry for what they did to us. And the third thing about forgiveness is that forgiveness doesn't make them right. You know, forgiveness is not saying what they did to you is okay. You know, some of us have had the most horrific things done to us, the most horrific things said to us. Friends, bad things happen to good people. And so when we forgive, we're not saying those bad things that happen to us are okay. It's not okay. But friends, when you forgive, what it does is that it makes you okay. When you forgive, what it does is that it sets you free. It sets you free to live again. It sets you free to love again. It sets you free to heal. It sets you free, friends, to trust other people again. And so the fourth thing that I learned about forgiveness is that forgiveness doesn't change the past. I really, really, really wish from the very bottom of my heart that there was a delete button for the past. I really do. But there is no delete button for the past. And so forgiveness doesn't change the past. But what I found is that when I extended forgiveness to others, when I learned how to just let it go, what it did is that it changed my future. And so friends, 
I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you from the very bottom of my heart. As we begin this brand new year, it's time to let it go. It's time to forgive. It's time to give that offense to God. It's time to give what they did to you to God. It's time to give what they said to you to God. It's time to give it to God and let him heal you. It's time to begin to move forward into your awesome, awesome, awesome destiny. Friend, you can do it. Always cheering for you. Bye-bye.